Meteorologist Ryan Matouche. Oh, well, pretty nice day today. If you were on the east side of the viewing area, you, you escaped a majority of those showers and storms. Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies outside. Right now, here's a live look outside of our Manhattan camera. Temperatures, we're seeing 70s and 80s out there for a little bit longer. Showers and storms near Concordia Clay Center, Junction City, all the way through Emporia, all thanks to a weak stationary front in the area. And when I say weak, let me explain why. If we zoom out, we can see that this front is actually attached to a much larger low pressure system spinning over the northeast side of the US. This is the same system that's just uh, funneling smoke into the New York area. I'm sure you've all heard those or at least seen those stories with the smoke in New York City. And that same system is, believe it or not, influencing us here in northeast Kansas. But because it's so far away, uh, it's a little bit of a weaker influence. Nonetheless, right now we're watching 82 here in Topeka. Winds in the uh, 10 to 15 mile an hour range. Elsewhere across the viewing area, we are seeing 170 here in Lawrence, 80 for Hiawatha, 84 for folks in Clay Center and Manhattan. As far as dew points go, a little bit humid out there, certainly near Manhattan, Junction City, Topeka, pretty much everywhere you're seeing 60s and lower 70s, Junction City. A good look out there, a little bit humid uh, for folks in that direction. Typically this time of year, we see an average high of 84. Today was yet another day where we were above average heading further into June. Let's talk tomorrow morning, middle 60s waking up on our Friday. And then for the afternoon, I still think this model is a little bit too cool. We should be seeing middle to upper 80s by Friday afternoon and then heading on into Saturday. Uh, models are not agreeing just yet on how cool it will be. It depends on when that when that cold front arrives. But for right now, Saturday could be kind of mild 70s across the area. All right, let's talk storm chances for tonight and tomorrow. We're going to be still be seeing chances for isolated showers and storms throughout the viewing area for another couple of hours, but I'm fully expecting activity to diminish uh, as the evening progresses. Maybe some lingering rain through the 10 or 11 o'clock hour. Tomorrow morning, mostly clear skies with cloud cover out west and then really a nice afternoon. No showers or storms expected uh, through about lunchtime. Then things start to get a little more active heading towards the 7 o'clock hour. Maybe some stronger thunderstorms out west, Concordia, Clay Center, Junction City, possibly seeing some small hail and gusty winds. Those showers and storms drift to the rest of the viewing area by about 10 or 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Some lingering showers early Saturday morning, and then the atmosphere resets. We see a little bit of a calm period Saturday during lunchtime, and then even more storm and rain chances late Saturday on into Sunday. Tonight, though, cloud cover in the area, 70s on down into the 60s. If there's going to be any break from rain or activity, it'll be tomorrow during the daytime. And then storms move back in late Friday as we just dissected right there. 86 here in Topeka Saturday and Sunday could be a little bit cooler. Watch for those high rain chances on Saturday. But David, some 70s in the forecast could make for some pretty pleasant temperatures. That's crazy for June, it almost really mid-June at that. And you know what? The humidity, if it can stay nice and low, it's a pleasant day. Wow. Yeah. Maybe a 50-52 dew point with some <laughs> 70 degree temperatures. Get outside and enjoy it. My goodness. Well, yeah. Andy.